<laughs> I, I don't know. I think that might be a problem. <laughs> Good morning everyone welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in uh, it's Tuesday morning and it is it's a little chilly out <laughs> I've got my long johns on uh, fell a little under the weather yesterday so I didn't get a lot accomplished uh, it's, just, it's just that kind of all the girls were sick a while back and I guess I'm just like the last one to get it but uh, I'm gonna try to press through the sickness and, and get some stuff done today uh, what I got in store for today is that uh, I have a John Deere corn head that I'm going to be taking to an auction, uh, which is this weekend, but we have to have it over there uh, by today or tomorrow so they can get it staged and, and ready for the auction. Uh, I've tried to sell it unsuccessfully on buy, sell, trade and stuff, so we're just going to take it to the auction to see what it brings. It's not an absolute auction or anything like that. so. Uh, I can always bring it home, I guess, if it doesn't bring the, the money I want it to. So if you've never seen a corn head or don't know how one works, once I get over to Brent's and we get it hooked up to the truck, then uh, I'll kind of walk, give you a walk around of it and, and show you what it does. So we'll see you in a bit. Here she is folks this is John Deere 643 corn head this number six indicates the number of rows kind of or six it's a six row head so that means when it's on the combine you can actually uh, pick up six rows going down through the field And the rows, you know, they kind of would go through here. And underneath, let me get a better view over here, see if I can't show you here. Yeah. These things right here are called snap rollers. And they, they rotate. So <clears throat> when they're rotating and the stalk goes through here, it kind of strips the stalk down and the ear of corn falls um, down here to the gathering chains, which conveys, they also turn, and conveys the ears of corn up there to the auger, which augers it down to the throat of the combine. And that big open area is where the combine hooks up. So that's the throat of the combine. And once it gets there, the feeder chain on the combine takes the ears of corn up into the combine for the threshing process. So that's kind of how it works in a nutshell. I'll kind of open one of these bad boys up. Give you a look on the inside. But it's in pretty good shape. Hopefully, hopefully it'll go to a new home this weekend and somebody else can get some good use out of it. This is what turns everything on the head. This is the old style uh, chain drives, but there's also some similar uh, sprockets on the combine that that actually uh, this will actually pull out. Well, this one won't because it's already out. But the one on the combine will meet up to this, and you put a put a the one on the combine will meet up to this. You put a chain around it, and you put this uh, cover over it to keep the chain kind of from going off but that's uh that's how she works it's not real complicated but shelled a lot of corn with this old bad boy so we've got it hooked up to the truck and so we're gonna make the long drive to the auction it's actually not that far distance wise but uh probably the top speed i can get is probably maybe 15 miles an hour before this trailer wants to wander all over the road 
Uh, it's just like a little homemade job that we did just to uh, take the take the head from field to field. It's not designed for a lot of highway travel. <laughs> So it'll, it'll take us a while to get over there, and uh, you can probably see the little snowflakes is starting to snow yet again. So we're gonna hopefully get over there before the roads get bad. Well, that's what time it is there. We'll see how long it takes us to drive over to this place. I'll keep an eye. I'll reset the mileage here too. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes us to travel. At going. 10 mile an hour. <laughs> So we made it over here uh, safe and sound. Took us about, oh, a little over an hour. It was only 17 miles here, but uh, just couldn't go very fast with that trailer. And we kind of avoided a uh, potential catastrophe because as soon as I got here and went out and looked at the trailer, one of the tires went flat. Like from the time that I went in and, and registered the item to sell it, it, uh, the tire went down. <laughs> so I guess we'll get out and uh, look around a little bit and uh, see what they got uh, to sell here this weekend. Check out some farm equipment. Now look at this puppy. 2955 John Deere. About 97 horsepower from the factory. Looks like I don't know the high-low shift. It's got the uh, got some stuff off of it. There's the injection pump on this bad boy. I'm not for sure what engine is in this tractor. I'd have to look that up. I think I would know that since I'm a John Deere guy, but not intercooled or anything like that. But then again, like I said, only 97 horsepower. Pretty neat. A lot of stuff here. Ooh, a little massy. 231. These little puppies are about uh, 40 horsepower. Those people use them for like, you know, gardens and stuff. It's got a little Perkins engine in it. I know I'm a John Deere guy, but I also have always loved Massey's. I love all tractors, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't really matter the brand. Some old Alice Chalmers tractors. I think he's going to need a new tire. Eh, it's only flat on one side. This will give you... <laughs> I don't know, I think that might be a problem. <laughs> Actually, the first tractor that I ever drove was an Alice Chomler. It was an Alice Chomler CA. Oh my God, I think I was maybe 10 years old. Oh, actually, I don't even think I was that. I could barely reach the pedals. My dad kind of stood on the 
the back of the tractor there when I was driving it down the road. But you let me drive it by myself. It's those kind of memories that, those kind of memories that uh, always stick out with you. First time you drive a tractor, first time you drive a truck. Oh, uh-oh, what we got here? I also grew up four tractors. This is 6600. I believe these were about 72 horsepower from the factory. I don't know if anybody, any of you all have ever been to a farm auction, but uh, or an auction for that matter. It's just uh, they've got these little trucks they drive around here, and then they have the auctioneers over a loudspeaker, and people just place bids on uh, the item of equipment they want to buy and it just pretty much what goes to the highest bidder but uh, the sale is this Saturday so we'll be here we'll be here uh, I've got to come over and make sure uh, make sure the fancy corn head brings the amount of money that I want to sell it for because I don't want to give it away Should be fun, should be interesting. It's gonna be cold and all that. I'm not looking forward to that, but uh, always loved going to auctions uh, growing up. Me and my dad used to go all the time. And nothing else, we just gotta see what equipment brings, you know, that way you kinda got an idea of what something's worth if you come across a good deal or something like that. So, get to see a lot of, a lot of people that I get to see a lot of my friends and stuff that I haven't seen in a while sometimes. I always run into several people I know at these auctions and stuff. So it'll be crowded for sure. I know that, even though it's gonna be cold. So but that's uh pretty much what we're gonna wrap up this video folks. Uh just kinda wanted to do something just kinda wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh uh, besides diesel trucks today because um, I had to bring this like I said I had to bring it over here anyway but what we do have coming up very soon is we have to go get the new truck so we're going to be doing that uh, I've been ta I talked to Brent he's going to help me go get it I'm going to borrow a trailer uh, from another friend of ours who has a winch so that's going to help us get it on a trailer and get it home so but hope you guys are having a good week hope you guys are staying warm <laughs> and we'll see you next time have a good one